Hey, it's Professor Grabowski again. In my previous video, I discussed copyright law, which is an important area of intellectual property law, but it's not the only area of IP. In this video, I will briefly cover three other areas of intellectual property law you should be aware of. They are patent law, trademark law, and trade secrets. Let's take a closer look at each of these and how they relate to cyber and technology law. First, let's begin with patent law, which protects your rights if you invent something, such as a new computer, smartphone, or software. In order to protect your invention and be able to sue anyone who tries to copy it without your permission, you can apply for a patent from the US government through its Patent and Trademark Office. The patent generally lasts 20 years. And to receive a patent, the inventor must invent an item or process that is novel, useful, and not obvious from pre-existing patented items. Tech-related patents are available for things like utilities, designs, and business methods. For example, Apple owns both the utility and design patents for its iPhone. The utility patent covers the machinery of the device, while the design patent protects the iPhone's aesthetics. In other words, what it looks like. Whenever Apple invents a new product or even makes an upgrade for an existing product, for example, if it were to uh, create a seal to waterproof its iPhones, uh, it could apply for a patent on that innovation. Now let's cover trademark law. Trademark law protects the symbols and slogans that are associated with businesses and help identify them to their consumers. For example, the Apple computer symbol or the brand name Google are both trademarks that identify products. Uh, and the Bluebird, which is synonymous with Twitter, is a service mark that identifies uh, its service. A big reason trademarks exist is so that consumers can see which brand uh, made a certain product and so they don't get confused by imitations or knockoffs or similar products. So trademark lawsuits generally only occur when a trademark or service mark is used in a way that would confuse a potential customer. Uh, for example, many years ago, uh, Coca-Cola successfully sued to stop soda competitors from selling their beverage under names like Coke and Coca-Nola. Trademark disputes on the internet often involve domain names. A domain name consists of the words and characters that website owners designate for their registered internet addresses. For example, the website for McDonald's restaurants is found at mcdonalds.com. Apple Computer's domain name is apple.com. And the New York Times domain name is nytimes.com. You get the idea. Because of the increasing popularity of the internet, merchants have realized that having a domain name that is the same as their company name or the name of one of their products can be an extremely valuable part of establishing an internet presence. However, sometimes opportunistic individuals will reserve a domain name on the internet that uses a company's trademark, and then they'll try to seek profit by selling or licensing the domain name to the company that has an interest in being identified with it. This practice is known as cyber squatting. For example, many years ago, a prankster reserved the domain PETA.org. Now, PETA is commonly known as the acronym for the animal rights group People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. However, this prankster made a website based around PETA instead standing for People Eating Tasty Animals. The site described itself as a resource for those who enjoy eating meat, wearing fur and leather, hunting, and the fruits of scientific research. As you can imagine, this greatly distressed the folks at the animal rights group. So they sued in federal court uh, for cyber squatting and trademark infringement, and they eventually won and were able to claim the PETA.org domain. Finally, the last area of IP law I want to briefly cover is trade secrets. Now, in contrast to other types of intellectual property, uh, such as copyrights and patents, which are filed with the government and eventually become publicly accessible, a trade secret is by definition not publicly known. Rather, it is information, uh, such as a practice, a formula, or a technique 
that's kept confidential within a company because it gives the company an economic advantage over its competitors. For example, the formula used to make Coca-Cola is a trade secret and Coke keeps the recipe locked in a vault. On the internet, uh, an example of a trade secret would be the algorithm used for Google's search engine. So you may be wondering, well, why keep this a secret and risk having it stolen rather than file a patent? Well, the reason is trade secrets can conceivably last forever. Uh, if you file a patent, however, the information is public knowledge and after 20 years, you no longer own the rights to it. Um, and also, if someone tries to steal your trade secret, you do have legal recourse. Uh, trade secrets are protected by the Federal Economics Espionage Act of 1996. In addition, most states have also enacted laws to help companies protect their trade secrets. To ensure secrecy, uh, companies that have trade secrets will often require their workers to sign agreements to not reveal the secret information to others. In addition, uh, the company may insert language in the employee's contract that bans the employee from accepting a job at a competitor's company. Now, there have been a number of lawsuits involving tech companies in recent years uh, that offered lucrative salaries to try to lure away employees from their competitors' firms so that they could steal their trade secrets. <clears throat> this practice is sometimes called industrial espionage. In fact, uh, Recently, a federal court ordered Facebook to pay hundreds of millions of dollars for allegedly hiring an employee from a virtual reality company so that Facebook could gain insights into the virtual reality company's uh, confidential technology. Governments often engage in industrial espionage as well. For example, Huawei, a technology firm that allegedly has close ties to China's government, has been accused of stealing trade secrets from several American tech firms. And in 2019, the company was criminally indicted for allegedly stealing secret robotic technology from T-Mobile. Well, that's intellectual property in a nutshell. Once again, I'm Professor Grabowski, and thanks for watching.